Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel where we're teaching mathematics to prepare people for the very the exam here in Zambia. All right. So when he, uh, we are talking about uh, a determinant because we're going to look at the determinant, which is part of the matrix. Uh, matrix is the topic that we started. So we're going to look at a determinant. When we're talking about a determinant, uh, what exactly are we talking about? I think that is what we want to establish in this short lesson. What is the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix? Okay, we are confining ourselves to this because that is what is there in our syllabus. What is the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix and how do we, what steps are we supposed to follow uh, in order to get to the determinant? So we are saying the determinant of a matrix is the difference of the product of this these entries, now we call these entries or elements. We need to multiply these two entries in the main or major diagonal. Okay? We need to multiply these two entries in the major diagonal. Okay? You multiply them. That is what is here. The minus. That's why there's a weight difference. The minus the product of the entries in the minor diagonal. What you get is going to be your determinant. Are we together? What you get is going to be your determinant. The only challenge, this is very simple, but the only challenge that uh, students or candidates do face, rather learners, is uh, when integers are incorporated because the, it appears most of our learners are still encountering uh, problems with uh, the integers. Basically, this is very simple. Okay? So, without wasting much of our time, let's look at the example. If we say our first example is A is equals to 3 one and two and four. Then find the determinant. Find the determinant. Find the determinant of um, A. Find the determinant of A. It can also be indicated as um, um, so A determinant. A determinant, okay. The determinant of A is um, like we said here, like you saw from the formula. We are supposed to multiply the two elements in the major uh, diagonal, which will be three multiplied by four. We close minus two multiplied by one. We close. What do we get here? We get twelve minus two. Our determinant is going to be 10. It's as simple as that. Our determinant is going to be 10. Alright? I do not think we're going to have uh, challenges here. Our determinant is going to be equal to 10. Alright? So, we possibly look at the second example. Possibly look at the second example here. Um, which we can call... B, our B, we can just write our as, okay, 2, and we put 1. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. How do we find the determinant? How do we find the determinant? That is what we are looking at. The determinant of this matrix is equal to 4 multiplied by 1 minus 2 multiplied by negative 2. Alright. Now, when we multiply 4 multiplied by 1, we get 4. 2. 2 multiplied by 2, we get negative 4. Alright. Now you know that here we've got two signs separated by the bracket. So we are going to simplify these two by multiplication. And they are going to give us a plus. They are going to give us a plus. And the answer will 
add to 8. So 8 is the determinant of this matrix. 8 is the determinant of this matrix. That is very important. 8 is the determinant of this matrix. Third example is going to be Okay. Find the determinant of this matrix. We ought to multiply 5 by negative 3. 5 by negative 3. What do we get? We get negative 15. Alright? Minus. Open brackets. Negative 4 multiplied by 2. What do we get? We get minus or negative 8. Okay? So we have to proceed and simplify this. We have 15 minus and minus there will give us a positive. Alright? Now this becomes basically grade 6, 7 or 8 work at that point. How do we simplify integers of different signs? What we are supposed to do is um, we subtract the large, uh, the smaller number from the larger number, then keep the sign of the numerically larger integer. This is going to be our 7 here. This is going to be our 7. Okay? I do not mind giving you another example. Let me give you something that is going to be the last example here. Okay. I hope you are following. So, D. D, we have minus 5, then 2... And then we have 1, and here we have 4. Find the determinant here. How do we work out this one? When we multiply this and this one, negative 5 multiplied by 4, the two entries in the major diagonal, they are going to give us negative 20 minus, when we multiply these two also, okay? If you like, you can put it in brackets, but it will have no effect the fact that they are both positives. Okay, or maybe we just apply our tradition minus 5 multiplied by 4 close minus 1 multiplied by 2. I mean, this gives us negative 20 minus 2. You remember what we have been emphasizing about adding or simplifying integers of the same sign. We're saying you add them and keep the sign. So we're going to get negative 22 as our... We're going to get negative 22 as our determinant. We're going to get negative 2 as our determinant. Now, I indicated that this was going to be our last example. But I thought of... Another way that questions would be asked, and you know that sometimes some of us would have a problem to manipulate uh, a question that has been uh, asked in a different manner. So all I want to all I want us to do is um, us to look at something the same thing, but uh, Look at this same um, given that given that the determinant the determinant of x 4 
is minus 22. Find the value of x. This is a very common question also in your exams. But it's the same thing as this, okay? Sometimes they may, teachers don't make mention of this because honestly, anybody who has been taught this should be able to, to handle this one. Okay? So, but then, let's try to look at it. And basically, we're dealing with this one. So, as you can see, we already found that the determinant is negative 22. But then, the liberator have removed this one and replaced it with what? X. So that we see if we're going to get our two back. Okay? So I'm going to write our answer here. I'm going to write our answer here. So we, we work with the determinant. We start with you multiply the elements in the meta diagonal multiply, minus one multiplied by x. Sorry, minus one multiplied by x. And we equate this because our determinant is supposed to be equal to 22. Our determinant is supposed to be equal to 22. It's already given. When we work out this one, it should lead us to negative 22. So this is going to be negative uh, 20 here minus x. This is equal to negative 22. Okay? The same thing like I was saying. When we get to this point, when we get to this point, basically we go back to equations. But uh, prominently equations are taught in grade 8 and 9. Okay? When we're in grade 10, mostly we have an assumption that people have gone through grade 8 and 9, and then they'll be able to handle this. So it becomes a challenge for those people that were in school for some time back then, they just want to attempt GCE straight away without going through uh, these concepts. Because mathematics we build on the concepts that you learned in the uh, previous grades a lot of the concepts are intertwined all right so what i was trying just to emphasize is that this becomes equations how do we simplify this as an equation uh, for the sake of explanation we always say you collect the like terms together or you put the like terms together so meaning here this side we're going to remain with minus x then we have minus 22. And then this one, when it comes this side, the additive inverse of negative um, 20 is going to be positive 20. So we add. So then this is going to give us minus x is equals to negative. Um, this is going to give us negative. Uh, negative 2 here. Very good, yes. We're going to get negative 2. Now, at this point, x has a coefficient of negative 1. x has a coefficient of negative 1. So we need to divide both sides by negative 1, also here by negative 1. So our x, this and this, will simplify. The negative divided by negative, we always get a what? A positive 2. So... This is one way in which these questions can be asked. Please look at the past paper. You'll find that these are things that we are talking about. These are things that we are talking about. Okay, that are there in the exam. Matrices, such questions are asked in uh, paper two. Mostly made as question one, the first question there. So try to look at those things. We, my commitment is to help people pass. So please let's make sure that we are following these things. So after watching each and every video, I drop a comment there so that I know the progress that you are making. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Alright? Until next time.